Meet Atlas der Fleischatlas is an annual report, published by the Heinrich Boll Foundation and Friends of the Earth Europe, on the methods and impact of industrial animal agriculture. Consisting of 27 short essays by different authors, the report aims to inform consumers about the impact of meat consumption on global poverty, climate change, animal welfare, biodiversity, and the migration of workers. Meat Atlas was first published in German in 2013, and in German and English in 2014, both under a Creative Commons license. CC by SA 3.0. The executive editors are Christine Chemnitz of the Heinrich Boll Foundation and Stanka Becheva of Friends of the Earth Europe. Synopsis Overview Magda Stochkovich, director of Friends of the Earth Europe, argues in the report that, N. Uthing epitomizes what is wrong with our food and farming more than the livestock sector and the quest for cheap and plentiful meat. She writes that livestock farming is one of the biggest greenhouse gas emitters, and is responsible for health pandemics and the use of a significant percentage of the world's grain and water. According to the report based on figures from the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, the production of 1 kg of beef requires 15,455 liters of water 32,662 pints, or 110 bathtubs, cheese 5,000 liters, rice 3,400 liters and carrots 131 liters. Over 75 kilograms (165 pounds) of meat is consumed in the United States per person per year. 60 kilograms in Germany, 38 kilograms in China, and under 20 kilograms in Africa. The report states that animals are kept in cramped conditions, in artificial light, and fed antibiotics and hormones to ward off disease and speed up growth cheaply. Pigs can reach their market weight with 10 to 15 percent less food if they are kept on antibiotics, but overuse has created antibiotic-resistant bacteria, so-called superbugs. Stochkovich argues instead in favor of sustainable farming, where animals are kept in much smaller numbers and are allowed to graze freely, with farmers growing their own crops to feed them. Meat production through mergers and acquisitions across borders and species, meat production is handled by an ever-diminishing number of large companies. The report lists the world's top 10 meat producers see right, calculated by total food sales in the years 2011 to 2013, JBS, headquartered in São Paulo, Brazil, heads the list. The company S 2012 revenue of $38.7 billion exceeded the gross domestic product of Barbados, Iceland, Mauritius and Zimbabwe combined. JBS is followed by Tyson Foods, Cargill, BRF, Bion, Nippon Meat Packers, Smithfield Foods, Marfrig, and Danish Crown. Just 10 companies kill 88% of pigs, because profit margins are tight, companies aim for greater efficiency and lower costs, with as much profit as possible from field to fork. According to the report, JBS can accommodate a daily slaughter of 12 million birds, 85,000 head of cattle and 70,000 pigs, the produce of which is sold in 150 countries. Tyson Foods kills 42 million chickens, 350,000 pigs and 170,000 head of cattle every week. The kind of environment in which this occurs means that pathogens can spread easily, both during slaughter and transport. For the animals it means increased cruelty because of long journeys to slaughterhouses, inadequate stunning, and violence from stressed workers. For the workers, it means low wages, a noisy and highly stressful working environment, and long shifts spent making high-speed repetitive movements with dangerous equipment and frightened animals. For the consumer, it severs the relationship between the animals and the end product on the supermarket shelf. Accompanying events The release of the Meat Atlas in January coincides with the Berlin International Green Week and demonstrations in Berlin themed We Are Fed Up against industrial livestock production and for more sustainable farming. References Further reading Meat Atlas, Friends of the Earth, Download Meat Atlas as PDF, Download Summary and Policy Demands as PDF Meat Atlas, Heinrich Boll Foundation Alexandra Endress. 
Fleischatlas, Unser Taglik Hormonfleisch. Die Zeit, the 9th of January 2014. Shafali Sharma. Germans speaking out against industrial meat and agriculture. Institute for Agriculture and Trade Policy, the 9th of January 2014. Fleischatlas 2014, Trog, Teller und Sonntagsbraten. Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung, 9 January 2014. Fleischatlas 2014, Pro und Contra Fleisch als Lebensmittel. WDR 5, 9 January 2014. Alarm over soaring world meat consumption. Deutsche Welle, 9 January 2014.